Welcome to a very special night in the FAFL season. The heroes of yesteryear meet the contemporary stars of today in a special game that will bring back the memories of years gone by. It's a 2021 FAFL Legends game as Gaz Goodman's Crocs take on William Darley's Old Dogs. Hi there everyone, I'm Brock McEwen and I'm joined by former Adelaide Premiership coach Aiden Harrison. Aiden, this is just a great atmosphere to be at. I tell you, it is wonderful. I mean, last time I was here it was State of Origin. And that was us an injury replacement, so glad to be back. Yeah, glad to be glad to see you back in Perth. It's just great. This is just a great game here. We've got former stars that you will know and love. Sean Vincent, former Orange Premiership captain, Michael Vanderbeck, former Jeff Rose medalist. Former Jeff Rose medalist, group and boss. We've got Dwayne Payne, Timory Bryant, Tawny Campbell, Clancy Benton, Harry Rundle, Tom Langley, Jake Gomez, the goal-kicking great of Kent Griswold. And on top of that, we've got some great celebrities here. We've got we've got Olympian Callum Williamson, joined with his fellow FBA compatriots, Ash Van Zant and Andrew McDonald Rainbow. We've got we've got some we've got people who have won reality shows. We've got people who have who have been heroes we've got we've got DJs we've got musicians we've got we've got the Knight family here we've got Formula One drivers we've got we've got UFFL players Kova Luko and Samuel Mercer Jeez, this, this is this is looking like a great game Hayden <laughs> I know right I because like this is the crossover you never thought you wanted to see but once you see it you you just can't get enough of it Exactly. I'm looking forward to this. Seeing some of these greats pulling on the boots one more time. I'm glad you're here. We're going to get this underway right now as we are heading live to Perth. And here we go. As the teams get ready to come out. As so we've got aerial shots from the Duke here blimp. Well, showing us already. Perth Stadium. And... Looking at the teams here, these are some really, really good lineups. Aiden, who do you think is going to break this game open? Well, if it's going to be in, anyone from the Crocs, I'm kind of looking at Tony Campbell, kind of sporting old Gold Coast number from her best individual seasons. But for old dogs, I got my eye on Sierra Tilly. I remember watching her season of Castaway, and she was quite the physical beast. Certainly. I mean, I've never really watched Castle Lane myself. I've been more busy with the with the Ferrari Olympics and stuff like that. But, hey, it's good to have them here. We've got chefs here as well, so it's going to be interesting. I'm yeah, going to have Jackson to... Keller. Yeah. We're going to... I'm going to say fella. Michael Vanderbeck might be the one to break this one open for the old dogs because he's he has a lot to still prove, I think. He won the Jeff Rose medal in his final game, so I think he's going to want to show I've still got it. And then you look at... Someone like Timory Bryant, she's also got that too. So this, I'm going to say, this is going to be a great match here. As the captain's Timory's coming never went out, I'll say that. Yeah, as a captain's... the captain's rolling up here. Yep, captain's, captain's here for the coin toss. <laughs> Very excited about this match. I think you can uh, tell. And tossing the coin. And, and what we got, what we got. And the Crocs are going to the right of screen here, so... Interesting strategy here from Jacob Hawkins Sr. Interesting too, you know, you got Hawkins Sr. teamed up with his boys coach. Exactly, it's going to be interesting. We got a couple of coaches in this lineup as we get this one underway. And hit out by Westwood as Smith comes it low to Bryant. Ooh, Bryant, that, that is classic Timory Bryant right there. Terry Bryant, can she pull someone out of the hat? Something out of the hat here in the first oh, thirty she's gonna seconds. Go for it. She's gonna go for it. Oh, not a good kick. But Crocs yeah. first on the board. Aiden, this is hey, not the start she would have wanted. She had the gusto to go for it, so <laughs> I'm not gonna complain. All right, as Vincent plays off. Like Tim Marie. I thought it was more like rookie Tim Marie. She was going to the kid who kicked a lot of behinds then. Yeah, starting to see a bit of that. She want to bring back the prime Tim Marie, I think. <laughs> Anyway, right, give it time, give it time. Back to the game as Williamson has it. Cal but, Williamson now seemed to have it up. Got a bit of a tackle here and back to the ball up. <laughs> as we're going up for it again. Another battle for it, and Westwood bounces it out. 
And the old dog's back with it again. Yeah. Penelope Lawson oh, caught getting, on the ball. Oh, they were getting dangerously close to the line there. <laughs> yeah, I was the bow for that. God, this ain't cricket. You're not trying to go there. Yeah, come on. I know what sport you're playing. I know we got basketball players and American football players and Formula One drivers, but come on. Get yeah. it together. I forgot to mention Penelope Lawson. Over. Over Ludko of the nice mark. Whoa. Yeah. Very nice mark, but I forgot to mention her. She's a world-class cricketer. She wants to avoid the boundary here, and oh, big free kick. Oh. oh, here we go. Michael Vanderbeck for a chance to get the first goal here. Lines up oh, and into the top. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Oh, no. I think we've got some got people. Flowing yet. I think we've got some players a little rusty here, Aiden. Yeah. I mean, 10, 15 years out of the game, we'll do that too, yeah. Well, I mean, Vanderbeck's only been th out for three years. Right. So, he should I mean, be less I rusty. I want to say do better, but... I want to say I'd do better, but... Doc say he's still got to rehab that knee of mine. I'd say I'd do better, but then Wes Carey would drag me out there, so... Uh. <laughs> and I see the Bush footballer coming on, Justin Mussett for Stacey Westwood. Jeez, this has been a bit of a hot contest to begin with, Aiden. Uh, yeah, this is, it's been a scrap already. Not even a quarter in. Yeah, very much a scrap here as Crocs are trying to get something going here. Uh oh. And oh, intercepted God by Vincent. I'll sit with it. I'll sit. Aim it. Uh, they're back with it, but they're going to ball it up again. And oh, already oh, Westwood no. comes back on. Uh, scores a 1 1 at the moment, but Knight tries to navigate it somewhere, but doesn't know. Oh. <laughs> and just it's leaves it mess. open. It's a mess. As Keith Gordon plays on Keith and. Oh. oh, got a little, got a little too much moxie on that one. I think people have left their kicking boots at home. So much time they're back out there, not playing. <laughs> We're five minutes in, and it's and it's Crocs zero one one to Dull Dogs zero two two. Oh my goodness! As Griswold yeah. comes in for the first goal, and he gets it. There it is. There it is. First goal again to Cat Griswold. About time. The former Fremantle goal kicker extraordinaire kicks out first, and he almost misses. <laughs> yeah, not exactly his vintage right there, but you know what? We'll take it. We will take it very much indeed. Oh, you see Rose? Your Rose threw him down there. Yeah, it was good for him to get it off before. Oh, a bit of a bump there from Kerry. <laughs> Youngest ever to coach a Farfel team there, Kiara Rose. Uh, and boss, oh, that's going to be on the ball. Ooh. Speaking of Kiara Rose, yep. Rose where is she going to send it? Oh. Is that oh, Mark? Park. She's, I mean, she's definitely, she's definitely got good hands for a violinist, and she's had her hands on the ball a fair bit tonight. And Lawson gives oh, away right. on the ball, and Rundle with it, so... Rundle? Nice oh. mark there. Let's see. Um, okay. Oh, a bit of a long kick it. there to Van Zandt. Van Zandt. Here Van comes Zandt. Van Zandt. He's oh, going to run with it. it. He's going for it. And he's going for it. Whoa. Is that <laughs> special or what? Oh, he's giving it to him. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, at least he didn't elbow him. But, you know, I like the fire here. I like the fire. I like the fire here, too. <laughs> The FBA basketballer from Bangor kicks the second goal of the game. I think he got a little pissed off over how postseason went, so he's taking out some anger here. Certainly, and that's his teammate on the bench talking to the father of Jack Knight, Arthur Knight, so maybe a bit of conversation about the Argy Vargy there. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me there. And as we. Oh, oh we got Mark. I messed with Mark. Oh, oh. Sierra Tilly. More than that. So we got a few rotations going on again here. 
And very much a scrappy affair. Long kick to nowhere. And I think they're going to try and rely on Keith Gordon to get it. Is he going to get their third? Yes, he is. They're on a roll here, the old dog. All right. Good on you, Keith Gordon. Good on you, mate. Good on you. Oh, but both teams it really messy, getting into but, it. <laughs> it was messy, but it worked. I tell you, they're looking good at the moment. Crocs don't know what's hit them. They're really going to need a regroup here. I'll tell you this much, I think I saw Timmery Bryant pulling out a hair a little bit there, but how things are going right now. I think they're going to want to sit on the big wolf, I think. <laughs> they're going to want to send all, all hands on deck, I think, at the moment. As they need to do something here. Yep, they and need to do something here, and, and it looks like they've got another run on here, the old dogs. And Griswold for number two, he's going to run in and get it, and... Oh! Oh! Go. Good on you, Griswold. This is getting a little ugly, folks. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is... Oh, this, I tell you, I, one team came here to play, that's for sure. Ah. Yeah, I think around halftime, if this keeps up, I think Timmy Bryant's going to have some laryngitis. I don't think she'll be the only one. <laughs> As we get ready for the ball up here, and they're going to want to get Hawkins Senior back on here because they're losing the hit outs here at the moment. So as Ludko gets it. Ludko with a nice mark. Yep. Where, where are they going to send it? Where are they going to send it? A bit of a mess there. Griswold with a chance at number three. They're howling now, Whoa. the dogs. Okay. That, that looked a bit like a behind from this angle, but you know what? Good on you, mate. On ya. God, this, the Crocs are in big, big trouble. God, this game could be over by hook by quarter time. God, what are yeah, the Crocs is, doing? I don't know. The old dogs have come in and just cracked them wide open. It's just... Good man's about to become Mr. Badman if this keeps up. Exactly, and it's... Oh, Rundle holds the ball. That is very costly at this point. Oh, oh man, this is... Oh, uh, this, this is looking like a car wreck. It is looking like a car wreck. Certainly, I would agree there with that, Aiden. They need a goal here, the Crocs, just to settle it down a bit. They have the talent here, but they just have uh, to get it settled then, down. Uh, Clancy there doing a thing. And oh, Saxton gets it to Rundle. Can he... Oh, we'll handball it off. Mark. And it's a oh oh oh, oh, oh high, high tackle got thrown down. So chance here, Campbell with it. Oh, Tony, <laughs> Tony Campbell with it. Can she get a much needed goal here? They need her to bring some magic. It. Don't you know? I know she can do this. Oh, is that going to be a goal? Yes, it is. That's it. That is it. First <clears> goal <throat> for the Crocs, and giving it oh, to Painto. Yeah. Oh yeah, she. You let him have it. God, former teammates. <laughs> yes. I told you she was going to pull out some of that Gold Coast magic she had. Exactly, and Brian on the bench at the moment. Oh, she's, oh, she's fuming. She is fuming, I can tell. You can, yeah, you can tell that, certainly. And carry with it, bombs it long, straight to Jackson. She does something. Keller. You know, after this, I think we need to go to Keller's restaurant. <laughs> well, one of them. I think so, too. He's got one here in Perth, but I think save it for after the game. Oh, yeah. Keller, and DeMarco gets a good, good mark. Good on DeMarco. Can I go for it? It's a quite offline. It'll be a behind. I mean, she tried to go for the showstopper there. Yeah, I think she You know, thespians. They, they tend to go big or don't go at all. Exactly. I think she'll need to tone that down a little bit. As we get the kick out. And a bit of a spill here. Here comes... Here it comes! A oh. big kick! Clancy Benton! Oh, Where did that come Clancy. from? Clancy Benton! 
I remember playing with that bloke. <laughs> yeah, and he's known as a defender. Where did that come from? <laughs> God. Checks I kick straight through. God. Where were... God. Never really played forward, but he's showing he might he probably should have. He might have just been able to do it. I mean, it's just weird, because Goodman usually saw when players need to play different positions. Like, I got stuck at forward first three years of my career when I was bouncing around. When it came to Adelaide, he's like, no, you're moving to midfield. Trust me. And that's where my career kind of blossomed. Exactly. And, and if we look at it, well, that's that. <laughs> they've gotten the last three scores here, the Crocs. Oh, they're back in it. Fancy again. Arthur, it looked like it was a bit of a run on at the moment. It looks like both teams oh, so seem to have settled down. Yeah, although I did, I think I did see Bryant sneak on the field for DeMarco, so... Oh, I Jack, no, we're pushing the, the back there. Someone better tell the Brit, don't, don't get too rough. Yeah. I... Which is... Yeah. It's not rugby, for God's sake. Yeah, it's not rugby. <laughs> And there ain't any Mellows on the ground, though he seems to have learned it as he's managed to get the managed to get one of the players off the ball. He is just he is keeping the crocs afloat. And Van Zant coming off for Penelope Lawson here. This is gonna be interesting. As coming through here. Looking at it. Here we go to Gordon. He's gonna play on, he's wide open! He keeps running oh, and he's going to get it and he will. <laughs> Great I'm goal by Gordon. Pace with him, but you, you, don't, you just don't stop Gordon. You just don't stop Blake. The 2015 Premiership player very much showing why he has still got it. That's another one from him and they've, they've put the gap out a bit further. The old dogs, I don't know what the Crocs were doing. There was nobody there. Yeah, I mean, I think they caught on to what Crocs are trying to do, so... <laughs> They're just like, nope, we're squashing that now. I uh, I would agree there, there as we, we get the ball up, and Crocs in out again. <laughs> Bit of a handball chain. Ooh. And, oh, Isabel Leduc caught oh. throwing the ball. you got to hold on to that. Uh, I mean, she's a Formula E driver. This ain't her usual forte. So I'll cut her a little slack there. Yeah, I would cut her a little slack too as well. As Williamson marks oh, it. Williamson. He's gonna kick it to oh, Campbell. Tani. And she's gonna play on. Oh. And trying to find a pack there, but Arthur not on. Oh, Arthur just swooped in like, nope, I'll take that. To Keller. Keller. As like I said, his skills are as sharp as his knives. Certainly, as Ludko has got Ludko it, he's just, he's just taking mark after mark. Yeah, he's been a marking machine out there. And I think I just saw Van Zandt sneak back into the field and relief for Selby. And Holt kicks it long. Geish, yep. the Geish. FBL legend, marks yeah, it and then kicks awesome. it near the boundary line. And out to nobody. That's out of bounds, as we've lost mm. the players, but uh, we're back on them now. Yep. Boundary oh, throw in here. Oh, oh, off to the pack here. And that'll be Knight taking a group grab. Yeah. yeah, he is just intercepting quite a few plays here. Lawson, nice mark by her. McDonald Rainbow, one of Australia's favourite sons, stepping in. Certainly, as it looks like he's kicked it to nowhere. Oh, he kicks to nobody. Come on, AMR, what are you doing? There we go, Coltwell with it. Hold well. As Westwood on for Knight. Oh. And oh, a bit of a oh, fight yeah. for the ball here. Yeah, well, it looked like a bit of a clog. Kick to nobody, and who's going to pick up the scraps here? And it is. Is Gomez. Gomez and. Oh, and Calico holding the ball. Now Ooh. it is going to be Kenji Smith's turn to try and kick a goal here. Is it? No, it's 49. That is... 
That's, oh, that's DeMarco. That's DeMarco going for it. DeMarco will get it. Will Zef DeMarco take your bow? Exactly. Take your bow, Lizard DeMarco. It is back to 18 points. So after a slow start, the Crocs are slowly getting back in this one. Yeah, sometimes you just need someone full stage presence to take that big move like DeMarco just did. Exactly, and getting back ball into the, time. the ball up here. And, and Hawkins Senior's gonna Senior bomb it long. It. And Green Daniels on Daniels, it. Big Wave Studios dead. Developer of the FAFL Evolution games. Yep. This is gonna be very interesting to get them within 12. Oh. oh. Oh, the wind was not in her favor that time. Into the post. So, 3-3-6-2 three, three, at the moment. Oh, Lawson. Lawson seems to be heating up a little bit. Yep, she seems to be getting it fine. Luko with Luko another mark. Luko with another mark. Ball up again. Oh. Oh, oh is that going to be high on the ball? Yes, Very it is. It's manhandled the Duke there. Luko tackles down Smith there and will get the free, but kicks it straight to DeMarco. What was that? DeMarco. Campbell with another oh, chance here. Campbell's weak. He's had one of the hot boots tonight. Less than a minute to go. Can she get a goal? It's not going to make it, but it, oh, she'll yeah, find Hivers. Hey, Ryan Hivers, Mark. The hero with a chance to kick a goal with the siren about to go. And he will. And that it's siren, it's good. And that will put them within 11 at quarter time here. He is. I mean, just look at the smile on his face. You can tell that he's enjoying this at the moment. He's kicked a goal yeah. here. A daughter playing number. for Wellington. Yep. Yep. Scored the same number as two as a two. It's very interesting. As we're at quarter time and the scores are Crocs 4-3-27 oh. to Old Dogs 6-2-38. Eleven I mean, point lead to the Old Dogs. And Aiden, we this it was is gonna just... be a blowout, but hey. It, it's looking competitive now <laughs> it very much is this looks like a very competitive game as they head into the huddle for quarter time and we'll get the stats up for you in a sec as we look at Michael Vanderbeck addressing the players and looking there it's if we look at the stats here it's been very very even so far with the old dogs getting the edge in hit outs and tackles and like they're getting mainly the edge out in most of these stats so that there's a reason why they're the on nearly the crocs they have more inside 50s they're doing a little better on contested possessions so they're, they're pulling away a bit in their own sense but they gotta do a little more i would agree heavily there aiden i mean Trust me, it's like this has been one of those just games that it's like it started off really rough for the old dogs, but things have, well, not rough for the old crops, sorry. God, I'm not used Crocs. to these team names, but they started very rough for them, but they've gotten back in this game. So this is looking very, very good. So my color commentator, this is going to be interesting. Second half well, not second, second quarter, I should say. Jeez, this is... Yeah, we're only one quarter in. We got we got some game left. We got some game left, one. and look at the major ball winners. Clancy Benton leading for Crocs, and you can tell, and Kova Luko. I didn't think he'd be a disposal magnet, but he's showing that, that here. I mean, he's just been taking mark after mark. Followed closely by Jackson Keller, who is surprising me too. Very surprising, and Kent Griswold leading the goal kicking with three. That to be expected, however. So, this is going to get really, really interesting really quickly. And I know, I know there is one player who does want to kick a goal, and that is Jack Knight, and we will have to see if he does. <laughs> because he's told me he wants to do the pointy thingies, which he call, which is right. what he calls the goal. 
the goal signals. He wants to do them, so he's got to. He has to kick one if he wants to do them. So it's gonna be it's interesting. Funny too on the field because like whenever you see him and Timmery pass, you see him pass by Timmery, you just see him like whistle at him for some reason. <laughs> And you just see his eyes go a little wide, like, I don't know what's going on there, but it's hilarious. I don't know what's going on, it's pretty hilarious, but I mean, maybe maybe Timory should be on Jack at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe, as we move on, our quarter time scores there, as we get on with the second quarter. And a couple of changes here as we get it underway. And oh! Was oh, trying to go for a big oh. specky, but gives away a free kick to Samuel Nasser. God, that would have been mark of the night if he took it. Oh yeah, I know, right? Jeez. Oh, Duke with the mark. <laughs> yeah, there's a mark. He's finally getting it a little. Yep. Um, oh. Nasser with it, but here comes Griswold, and he'll be caught holding the ball. Tilly. Can we get another ball up here? Oh, a little bit into it. But... Yeah. Yeah, they're getting into it. Oh, Gordon gets Ooh. caught as soon as he gets Gordon it. Gets slammed. <laughs> another ball up here. Van Zet can't Ooh. hold on to it as Hawkins oh, Jr. bombs it long. He's hoping Campbell can get it, but she was... Campbell's got it! Oh, There's a lot of room oh. here! She, can she outrun him? She's gonna kick oh, it! She... Will it bounce, though? What it's not gonna bounce that? away, though! Oh! And it's gonna oh, be a touch God. behind by Cal. Yeah, I mean, considering how short the ball went, that could have gone way worse for Campbell. Very much so. It's Cal is up back with it. Cal with another mark. Not a good mark from him. Campbell with it though. Oh. He's gonna try and That's find someone and finds LeDuc. LeDuc, alright. I think she wants a goal. Um, you're uh, infringing uh, on the mark, buddy. Encroachment. Um, guys, we're not gonna call it. Behind. Okay. And that'll be a behind. I think she really should have gotten 50 meters for that, but the umpire said no. She seems to be brushing it. She seems to be brushing off like a champ, though. She's still having fun. Yeah, so nine-point game at the moment. Selby with it. We haven't Selby. seen much of him tonight. Bit of a weird mark, but we'll take it. And Williamson with it. He's going to get he's caught holding the ball. And he just gets handled. Handled by Vincent. Hands it to Brown. Brown. Been all quiet tonight, but hey, finally get some activity, and... Wayne Payne picking that one. The Geelong Wayne coach Payne kicks it back to Brown. Back to Brown. <laughs> and he's going to give it to Gaish. He's going to play it on. But, oh, it's a bit risky there. Oh. Yep. And Tilly hands it off. Oh, oh that was oh, not oh. good. I think oh. that was Lawson. And oh, Keller oh, trying to Justin. go for a specky. Keller push. And they'll, push they'll give the advantage. And, oh, Gomez misses the finish. I, yeah, I don't think the kill him with bug bite strategy is going to work here. I, yeah, I'm not seeing it here as Crocs are getting very inaccurate here. 4 it's 6 to like, 6 to. It is like Timory said, behinds add up, but not always in a good way. Exactly, as Payne gets it and plays on, finds it to pass. Who doesn't mark it. Oh, Butterfingers. Gee, that was not boss, that was McDonald Rainbow, sorry. Shouldn't get them confused because one's got long hair and one's got Good short hair. I'm trying to get a little closer, but Mercer in the steps back just said, nope, not today. Langley. Where is he going to kick it back? This could be costly. Oh, man. This oh, could this be very messy. costly, but not at the moment. It is not. Inji Park. All right. And it looks like they're going to get away with it. <laughs> or will they? Uh, they might still. Um, yeah, they might still. Uh, they might still. Oh, no, maybe not. Oh, no, they might. might uh, oh, a bit of a chain there oh. as Holt gets caught holding the ball. 
Oh, that was a mess right there. Very, I would agree. As Trey Goodwin gets the ball, hands it off to Clark. Oh, 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 Clark. Where is she going to send it? It's Jackson Keller again. Keller. What's with him? Why is he such oh. a ball magnet tonight? I don't know. Keller's just had the hot hand tonight on market. Westwood hey, tonight. Back night. He's going to try and find Griswold, but oh. he's blocked. And it's going to go out of bounds. The Oros loses it. As Campbell looks to be going for a refreshment. I mean, she was kind of carrying the team a little bit there, so I can understand if she's a little gassed. I can't blame her. I cannot blame her. She's brought a lot of, lot of magic here as... Oh, she's coming back she's up. going back up. She is going Gomez back up. Gomez off. I think he does want some time off. He's He, has, he hasn't it even had like 12 months off that guy. He should be the best player out there at the moment. Link. Oh man, they're giving each other business there. <laughs> and Kerry. Yeah, Kerry is... scoops it up again. He's going to run for That's it. He better right. get it off. But Shadow oh, Wolf man. isn't there for the position. Here uh, comes the big Kerry. wolf. He's thundering Kerry. down the thing. He's going to go for goal and he gets it. Oh, okay. The big he, wolf gets wolf it. it. <laughs> Who to <have> thunk it? <laughs> and now it's only a two-point game. Well, who would have thought that? God. <laughs> I think we see where Kyle gets it now. If his uncle's kicking like yeah. that at his size, and no wonder he's getting paid the big money at dog. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'd let myself go after I became a coach. <laughs> Oh, just... So granted, I have had to turn down to help my knee, but eh, it is what it is. And Croc seems to be getting the momentum here, but Ronald gets caught holding the ball. This could be a key moment for all dogs here. They, they need to do something here. And, and a back mark. That's a start to it. Donald Rainbow Donald with it. Rainbow. That was a bit gutsy. Musset, the big. Bush footballer. That's how you do it in Kalgoorlie. That is nice. And a bit of an argument between Smith and Musset there, but Musset will get the yeah. goal. And accuracy really proving the point here, Aiden. But that's weird. You don't... Tenji Smith ain't usually the argumentative type. You might not be, but maybe Musset's been getting really into him during the game, perhaps. Yeah, being in the game as a way of bringing out some interesting qualities. That's why I call a footy card pose from from Musset, and I tell you, he might be in demand after this game, perhaps, from some teams, potentially. Oh, Knight oh, gets it, though. Oh, Knight? Is he going to get... He's going for it. Against? Oh, encroachment. Oh, and that, that is a shocking there. kick. And should have probably Oof. gotten another shot there, but... Oh, oh my gosh. Not happy. Uh, I wouldn't be yeah. either. Well, it looked like he got encroached on there, so I'm not sure it wasn't a whistle. Yeah, I think the umpire has been very, very lenient tonight. Less, yeah. To the point of where Maybe. I would question like their vision. Sleep. All right, Ross Selby's got it. Selby's got it. And yeah, not the easiest goal, but that's manageable. Can he pull out some magic here? He's gonna go for it and oh, miss. Yes, yes. Oh no, it's a behind. Ugh. These camera angles are getting tricky. Yeah, they're getting really tricky here, I will say that, but to be honest, that was a kind of angle where I don't think he was gonna really have much of a shot. I mean, it's not and McDonald Rainbow game. with it, trying to go for the check side, misses. He barely gets the behind. Yeah, getting a yeah. bit cocky here, the old dogs, and uh, they don't really have the room. In the background, just kind of shaking his head at that one. Teammate, jeez. I can't blame him. Just that is just getting a little too cocky as Van Zant. Speaking of Van Zant, he's gonna try and find someone, he and actually... that'll end up at Brian. Oh man, Bryant. Yeah, Bryant and Van Zant are probably the two fiery, most competitive people on the on the field tonight, I'd have to say. So if two people come to blows, it'll be that. Is that what you're saying? Oh, yeah. 
yeah, if there's going to be any elbows thrown, it's going to be those two. Exactly, and oh, Smith with a high tackle. I mean, you remember that two? I mean, you remember that two thousand grand final I was in with Bright basically got away with tripping to save my game-winning kick. Yeah, I would agree with that. I mean, that was a very, very good team in 2000 for Adelaide. They only lost one game. I think you guys should be very proud of that, and I think you guys would be very proud of the current team as Ezra Sexton comes in, gets a goal, and the Crocs have brought it back oh, to four. That was a tight one. And believe me, I am very proud of the, of the revamped Butcher Birds. They've, they've got some excellent people there <laughs> exactly as the former lion from Hobart former Premiership player gets it done in the time of need this I tell you this is getting into a really really heated context <laughs> the spectators are getting their money's worth tonight that, that's for sure exactly as we've got a couple of interchanges there as we have the ball up Donald Rainbow gets spoiled Rainbow, sloppy kick and Williamson um, almost gets it, but doesn't get his it, hands on it. It looked like Gaish had it there for a minute, and then he... But Goodwin's going to bomb it, as Mercer oh, oh. almost gets it. Oh. And we're back to where we were. Oh, oh. God, Vincent Hawk gives away a free kick by trying to go for the oh, specky. Oh. Guys, stop trying to go oh, for Mark of the Year. I, mean, I know you're trying to put up a show and impress the crowd, but don't be stupid. Rundle. The Duke to Rundle and a nice kick and to DeMarco. DeMarco. Well, I think I know where this is going. This to put him in front for the first time this game. She kicks, she scores. Yes. That is exactly what I expected out of a out of big name thespian like DeMarco. Lizard DeMarco puts the crocs ahead by toe. And she is taking another bow. Take a bow, you deserve it. I will I will tip my hat to you if I wore one, but you know, antlers kinda of complicate that. Exactly, I, I would agree with that. <laughs> As we're almost we are down to six and a half minutes in the quarter. Bit of a bomb long and tonight, he's gonna to have another shot right. here. Uh, he's just going to go for it because he wants the pointy fingers. He does. He, he wants, wants those pointy, pointy fingers. fingers. Will he give it to him? Yes, he yes. will. All right. Knight gets his goal. All dogs he get the lead. He gets the pointy fingers. <laughs> and he gives up. Oh, he gives. He's giving him a little business. Van Zandt giving him a congratulation too. And the old dogs back in front by four. What looked like it was a contest that looked like it'd be over by quarter time has turned into a scoring contest. This feels like a premiership game. This feels like a premiership game. Very much so. I think they're playing like they're playing for points here, and that's what we want to see. <laughs> you almost think there's a donation for every point scored. Yep, and oh, Benton holding the ball. Yeah, surprised there wasn't a push call there. He was getting a little rough with Benton. I would agree there as Smith with it. That will be holding the ball again. <laughs> and looking at, it at the moment, they're going to hand it off to Clark. Clark? Oh, didn't be unclear who that was going to. And back to Brown. Oh, they're Brown. going backwards here. They're going to want to be careful. Why are, they, why are they doing this zigzaggy stuff? Probably oh. to try and break through. Try and break some holes. Yara Road. Huh. Running a bit up the field there. Gomez with Gomez. it. Yeah. Oh, he's, oh, he's going to try on. and bomb it. Oh, oh, oh. Williamson does a slow pickup and runs in with a easy oh. goal. He sneaks the goal in. Right. The Olympian with the goal to put them back ahead. <laughs> You know, I've got a feeling Williamson and DeMarco would get along really nicely. I think they would, and just why. look at this. Lazy grab, quick kick, Bob's your uncle. Just like, yeah, I, he's like, yeah, I think I'm going to just kick this, mate. Pardon me. I would agree. Great goal by Carl Williamson. I just like like the tenuity of it. I 
don't even know what that word is. <laughs> Back. Uh, nor do I. Nor do I, Brock. And Gordon with it. He's going to play on nice, bomb at long straight to Griswold. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. And he's going to be straight in front. This will be an easy one. Griswold just wants another goal. I yeah. guarantee it. This will be a goal. Why did I tell you? Just yep. gun barrel straight through. That's pretty much a gimme. That is a gimme. Old dogs back in front. That's his fourth. It is like he has never left WA. I tell you. Yeah, I mean, you've got Griswold and Campbell who both look like they haven't, they've barely aged a day, skill-wise. Certainly, the, the big guy from Fremantle, trust me, you would have thought, some people might have thought he would have been forgotten thanks to his successor in Travston, but trust me, tonight has shown that he is still the king of Perth, and I, and we are seeing it right now. Must, must it to Van der Beek? Misses. It is narrow behind. Mm. Yeah, a bit of a behind not there. Not quite, buddy, not quite Van der Beek. No, not very Van de Beek esque. As Van Zant trying to go for the Specky oh. and gives away the free. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's known for being a greedy kind of dirty player. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised either. Just. As Mercer takes it, he's been a little yeah. quiet tonight. Yeah. yeah. This is a bit of a quiet play. They're moving very laterally. Kiara Rose. Proving she could have done more than just coach, clearly. Okay, I'm confused. Crocs, what are you doing? Okay, they're finally moving it. Thank God. I think they're trying to break the zone through and find a few holes here. I think when you see that kind of stuff, that's why it is. They're just trying to break the zone defense and Van Zandt! Van Zandt! That's... What a specky from Van Zandt! Okay, he's... That was nice. That will be Mark of the Night, and that will be all over Sports Center on FSPN yeah. tomorrow. Oh, yes. And Ivers gives away holding the ball, and just. Wow! <laughs> As Musset will try and go for it here. About a minute to go here in the second quarter. Old Dogs playing pretty well after a bit of a dry spell as Musset misses. And it is a six point game. Aiden, this this has been a pretty good game so far. Yeah, like I said, at this rate it's like one half would be worth the price of admission. <laughs> I would agree with that as Ludko going for it and is offline. I like the energy there, but not quite there. Exactly, not quite there for him. And I mean, Aiden, you've been a little, sounding a little quiet than usual. Any issues with the mic or something? Ah, sorry, might be a little, yeah, sorry, my voice has been a little raspy lately. Allergies and all. Uh, can't blame you, but Luko is going to get another shot at this. Oh. Can he stick the landing this time? Is he going to go for it? Is he going to go for it? He can! <laughs> it's clean. Clean goal. Very clean goal from Luko as we've got five <laughs> seconds left in the quarter and off the croc surge <laughs> through to take the lead, the old dogs have come to come off to finish well. As we're probably going to get a bounce of the ball, and that'll be it for the half. Then again, I'm going to admit it, when you kick against West Carey, that, that's a bit of a gimme. <laughs> Very much a gimme. <laughs> yeah, he's probably going to come after me after this, but... <laughs> I know, but he'll come after all of us. It's a siren sounds for half time. And old dogs extend their... L well, actually, don't extend their lead. They actually lead by 13. Yeah, they had to fight to get that lead back, too. So Exactly, and just it is half-time here at the Legends game. And I tell you, it is looking decent here as Crocs are 8 six fifty four to old dogs 10 7 Although there's still some wild disparities, mostly with hitouts and tackles. Yeah, the game is this close, so they're hanging in. So Crocs are hanging in there, but 
the the old dogs just seem to have had the edge. I I would agree with that. That is just the old dogs have had the edge on this game. You just look at those stats, and they're leading where they should be, but they've kind of let the Crocs come in and kind of do what they need to do. So I think it's kind of been one of those games. But Aiden, I tell you, it is. Coming up to half time here, I know tomorrow night we're going to be having the Hall of Fame ceremony kind of announcement stuff, but I want to tell you, buddy, I've been told by the league committee that uh, this is a bit of a surprise, but you're going to be inducted. You're going to be inducted, right? What? What? Mate, really? Yeah, you're going they... to be inducted. I, oh. I, I was oh. told this. Oh. I was told this myself because I, I'm I've been I've been announced as the first inductee, but you're going to be the second one. So we'll find out mm. the rest throughout the rest of the weekend. And just it's great to be in the same oh class gosh. as you, buddy. This is this is incredible. Uh, this is incredible, mate. Um, I never thought I'd make Hall of Fame. Um, I mean, I was that, I and mean, I was the late second round pick who. Got his career ended by injury and then just managed to stumble into coaching, but I didn't think that'd be Hall of Fame worthy. Damn. I'm 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 honored. I'm I'm truly honored. Mate, you know, trust me, you you ask anybody from that period who was the best coach in the league, and they they'd probably say it was you, so congrats, my friend. Wow. Congrats. Hall of Fame. Thank you so much. Good thing I packed another suit to take the Walk of Honor down the field. Yeah, I would agree. So I'm going to be there too. We're going to find out who else is going to be in the Hall of Fame during the weekend. So keep an eye out for that. Keep an eye out for that as we will get on with the second half here. Just it has been a great game and we're looking forward to the second half here as we sure get, wonderful. And we get underway after what, half time. Lots of changes. Let's get on with it. As Westwood gets tackled down, and we're gonna get another ball up. Mm, there, a little shovey, a little shovey shove there. <laughs> Going on with it, and Hawkins Senior, lucky to not be called cold for on the ball there. I thought he had a bit of an opportunity there, but you see, mm. and it seems like. I mean, Aiden, who do you think's kind of really getting the edge here out of all these players? Of all the players, I mean, there are a few names popping up. Jackson Keller comes to mind. Yeah, I'm surprised by him. So just the the big tank for bloke. Just you wouldn't you'd be surprised that he'd be able to pull all that off, but he's doing it. Yeah, he is. He's doing real good. Yeah, he is doing incredibly well. But this has kind of been a bit of a tight tussle this quarter at the moment. And Lawson throwing the ball. you got to try and handball it. Sloppy, sloppy. Sloppy, sloppy. Very sloppy indeed. He's got a kick to Mercer. Mercer. All right. I think someone's told, told the Angel Shark. you got to make a bit more of an impact in this second half. He's showing it a bit. And oh, here we go. Bit of a goal here. Minji Park. Eat your heart. The violinist. He hit the right note there for sure. Very much so, I would agree. And it's back to seven. I was not expecting her to be kicking a goal with her size and that, but she's done it. She, yeah, she's she is scrappy for... She's a lot scrappier than she looks. I, mean, I remember she showed up to the draft and she was just in like that classy dress and high heels. You wouldn't expect her to go and <laughs> get that rough. <laughs> exactly, and first goal of the quarter goes to the Crocs, and they've gotten a good start here as Smith holding the ball again. He's Ooh. having issues with getting rid of it. Yeah, I mean he he gets decent. He's getting decent marks. It's just he's got someone right on top of him ready to smother him. Good play by the old dogs there. And 
The dirt tackled. Another one of the smaller players out there today. Certainly, a lot of drivers pretty small in those competitions. As Westwood hands it off, and oh god, oh, couldn't oh, get the finish. Come on. What are you doing? There? And oh, here we go, but oh, oh my, oh this is oh this. Can't, is don't really have words for it at the moment. Just that, that was a mess. That was just a straight up mess. Straight up messes. Benton handballs it, and here we go. Bryant with the ball. Bryant. If I know anything about Bryant, oh, uh, is this going to be for a super goal? I think it is! Is she going to get the distance? She will, but she won't have the accuracy and that'll be up behind. Yeah. This is rookie Bryant right here, sadly. I love you, Timmery, but this is going to be rookie form here. Yeah, Bryant not having a great night as perhaps, as Cairns perhaps rubbed off her a little bit. She, but I mean, I think the coaches have had a quiet night all round except for, I think, the, the big guy. I think... Besides his run for goal, I haven't known much from the I mean, coaches tonight. I Kiara's, I mean, Kiara Rose is going to be things. Yeah, but I'm talking about the current coach. I mean, Payne's been pretty right. quiet. Bryant's been pretty quiet. Besides that goal, Shadow has been quiet. And, God, Gomez. Oh. Seen, I think we see why he retired. I think he's lost that kicking edge. That's yet yeah. another behind. Well, he can still kick it, but he can't kick it on target. And that's probably what's costing the Crocs at the moment, I think. Just like, I mean, you can be as strong as an ox, but if you can't hit straight as an arrow... Like, oh! Gage Ge huh. with the tackle! Brian's gonna get a shot in front of goal! <laughs> and can yep, Brian yep. get it home this time? I mean, she better if she is best bird. To put them in front! She kicks, she scores! Crocs back in front. Classic Timmy Bryant right there. Best birdie. <laughs> exactly. After two behinds, after one of them being a chance for a super goal, she goes direct and gets it. I think some of these players might want to just get a bit more direct, I think, and we're seeing it with Timmy here. Yeah, I mean, play a little Smash Mouth if you got her. Get in their grill. And Crux lead by a point, 10-8-68 to 10-7-67. Sorry. Oh, you saw there just going, yeah, that's how it's done. That's how it's done. That is how it's done. Old Dog's looking a little weathered at the moment after the hot start as Luko comes on. Another one, of the, the other one who's been pretty good for the Old Dogs. <laughs> here we go. Bit of a long kick here. Don't rainbow out yeah, muscles the, carry. Uh, good on him. And <laughs> another wayward kick uh, not really to anywhere. Tilly will get to it. Boss Tilly will get to it, and now it's just going to be a fight. As Langley gets on it. Langley. It's a little hard to see the numbers how far And away Shadow of Hands it off. Long kick. Oh, to no one. And that will be out of bounds by Rumble. That was a mess. More oh, hydration this time for Bryant. Just trying not to blow it. Trying not to blow a lid right now. Yeah, and the big wolf coming off. Bryant coming on as um, <laughs> three players do the same movement. Synchronized yeah. jumping, I think. <laughs> I mean, and Gomez not even going to make a point there. That's going to be way wide for out of bounds. Nothing there. And here we go again. Gage is going to get holding the ball again. This time, Campbell will get a shot at goal. Oh, Tony Campbell. The grizzled veteran of the FBL really struggling a bit in the back line. I think they wanted a toll there, from what I've been told by Dali, but he's just not really doing what he needs to as Campbell misses. Just the behind. And that'll be a two point lead for Crocs. She's just like, no, no, don't cheer me. That, that was not my best. 
And Vincent trying to get it out, but Croc's really putting the pressure on old dogs at the moment. And Ludko with a big hit. If this was an actual game, it looks like he would have been reported for that as Carey oh, yeah. kicks up a heart. God, Ludko bringing Good the job, bumps. Oh my god, he's going crazy over that. It's like, come on, man. I know he's a wrestler in the offseason, but mate, it ain't, it ain't wrestling at the moment. Calm, calm down a little. You're still in it. Dwayne Payne. Yeah, Geelong Dwayne coach Dwayne Payne trying to go for it, tries to find, find Goodwin. Uh, it wasn't to nobody, but it was a bit off. Oh, Goodwin, what were you doing? Just let it bounce out. Yeah. And Campbell is going to get Brown for holding the ball. Campbell kicks it. Well, I told you she was gonna, she was gonna unleash some of that Gold Coast magic she had. Yeah, well, not really much there as we've got a bit more of a scramble here. And we got a contested mark. Tilly finds Griswold. Oh, throwing the ball from Griswold. I, God, you don't expect a guy like him to be caught doing that. Yeah, come on, you better than that, mate. Yeah, very much better than that, mate. And a little quiet again, but hey. It is what it is. And Aiden, I can't really hear much of what you're saying at the moment. Sorry, hey. sorry. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. I know things got a little quiet on your mic. They really should have replaced it before the game. As Knight looking for number two. He gets them off. I mean, I mean, it's viable. I'd take it. I'd take it, Knight, for number two. Double up your goals, oh. double up your pointy fingies. It's Knight with two. Two goals, one for each pointy finger. <laughs> and old dogs take back the lead. And look at the smile on Jack Knight's face. Yeah. <laughs> that is a dragon having the time of his life. Let's stop him now. <laughs> Number 19. Talking to Samuel Mercer at the moment. As we're about halfway through the third, and it's still a very seesawing encounter. It's, this is quite the scrap here. I would agree with that as Hawkins tackles McDonald Rainbow very high. God, don't take the bird by the neck. That's all. That's what I will say. Lucky Van Zandt was not close, but he might have swung on him. Oh god, that would have been very interesting as Colwell kicks it out. And uh, Van Zandt onto it. Van Zandt picks up the scraps. But no, really anyone to kick to. And Hivers kicks it out. And the Big Wolf's rumbling down to the ball, and he's going to bring it out of bounds. Oh boy. And Don't worry, big guy. We love you. We all do. We, we, lo we love the guy. I mean... Trust me, 2018 Grand Finals a great moment for Gold Coast and for him specifically. But anyway, okay. back to That's the game. Arm. And Arthur Knight yeah, tries to hand it off. Uh, does it really... No prior opportunity though, so we're going to have a ball up here. Yeah, a lot of fight in the rock at the moment. Bander back. Bander back. To open the... space <laughs> as Boss will get there. Oh, that was a risky one, but it paid off. Paid off as he was looking for open space, going to the pack here. Oh, and we got a scrap here. Oof. And carry yes. to open space. Carry. He's not going to replicate. And he puts it to Geller. <laughs> yeah. He's not going to replicate Ain't anything that happened before. Bryant oh. will find Daniels out of Daniels? A little bit quiet, but I, I think she wants to have another highlight moment. Yep. Maybe for she's the to lead. Get a con and misses. <laughs> that is not worthy of a moment's card right there. Nope. Not quite. Not quite. And it's a two-point game at the moment. 10-11 to 11-7. And Vincent finds Payne, who... God, I don't think he's going to find who Payne he wants really there. Um, oh, 
Williamson seemed to have it for a second. Good one. Mercer gets tackled. Oh, well, from Westwood going out a little bit again. It's like a third dust up they've had. I would agree with that as McDowell Rainbow gets tackled again, and we will have another ball up in the forward. Oh, ooh, Raymar did not like that very much. <laughs> Old Dog's near the goal. Can they get something going here? As Rundle comes off for Benton. And off the night comes on for Miller Clark. And oh, another high tackle, this ooh, time Westwood from Westwood. Keep giving those up, it's... They gonna let him back? They keep giving those up, it's not gonna be good. It is not, as Gomez has got it, and... Oh, what was that? <laughs> Luckily, it makes it, but what, what was that was, kick? It worked well enough. It worked well enough. God. But, yeah. What has happened to Gomez's kicking boots? I don't know, but tell you with a mark here. Been a little quiet, but she's getting some things done. Ooh. Mercer stole the mark though, and we go out, uh, Lawson. Lawson gets it off, good one, high tackle from Park, Ooh. god, must have been on Park. the back of him. What? Benji Park with a high tackle, did she like, jump on him? Must have been, oh, that is a shocking kick, that'll be out of bounds on the fall. Good win, what are you doing mate, what are you doing? What Worse you than doing? a shunt at Albert Park. That kick was horrible. Yeah, that was embarrassing. Very embarrassing. Can he make up for it? Yes, he can. <laughs> As they get a make goal. Up for it, thank God. And extend their lead to eight. Somehow. Somehow he makes up for it. God. Nice. I imagine Dolly was fuming at that first one. God. And then seeing him go for that kick, you know, he's like. Oh boy, no, please no. Exactly, I would agree with that, and it is an eight-point game. Crocs in it, but they need someone to boss it up, and maybe they need the Big Wolf, maybe they need Bryant, they need someone to give them a bit of an edge, because it looks like the old dogs are back at it. It's, I mean, it's still very close, but, yeah, the, the old dogs seem to have finally gotten some fire going. And Gordon gets a goal to go quickly note. coast to coast. <laughs> and it's extended Gordon, to 14 man. points. Oh boy. Here we go. Certainly things I mean, are getting quite it's interesting a beautiful in kick, a sense. Don't get me wrong. up again and down they go ah, Smith just having a run of bad luck certainly not getting... been his game yeah I mean decent marks but again like I said he just keeps getting smothered that is oh. very agreeable oh AMR you're not you're not Ash Van Zandt don't don't go shoving and pushing like that Please. Yeah, I do not expect him to be of that behavior, but he seems to be doing it as ball goes near, near the boundary line. And Mercer with it, hands the, it off. But the Duke, it looks like, got thrown down. Yep. And, oh, Duke, man. The Duke. It's, it's a tussle. And Ooh, Gage brings Gage it on the boundary line. Bounds. And boundary throw in here. And oh. Mossett gets it to Lawson. Lawson? Lawson's been picking it up later in the game. And That's here comes sure. Brown, thundering down, trying to Ooh. find Griswold, but the ball will bounce his direction. Griswold runs in for a goal. That's number Ooh. five. That's, yep. That's an easy goal right there. Griswold will get play like, what's he doing? He's going to be the player of the game at the moment. He's had the most yeah, impact as it's out to 20. That. Crocs looking a bit in trouble. Yeah, uh... Hey, uh, Donnie, still got some of that bottled up magic? <laughs> well, 
Hopefully she does, because I want a good game to finish this, but hey, try and stop the man in, that is Griswold, and it looks like you've got a tough task here. That's number five for her. Well, like I said with Campbell, she, she chose to wear her Gold Coast number, which was the best individual year, so she's trying to channel that clearly. Uh -huh. And she has. As Tress gets tackled, haven't really talked much about her tonight. She hasn't been on much, I don't think. Yeah, I think we've been seeing mostly Hawkins and Westwood doing it. I think we're seeing more of Musset than we have of Trask, that's for sure. As Musset gets it, bombs it to open space. And Gorn's going to get it, but Mercer's going to be all over it. Yeah. Oh, he, oh he's going to Trask. Here we go again. Um, and Siren will sound three quarter time, and the old dogs lead the Crocs by 20. It's looking like it's their game to lose, as they yeah. are on fire at the moment. Agreed there. I mean, the Crocs have been able to get in here and there, but it's just. Old dogs have answered right back. I would very much agree with that. This is this is a team that has been fired up. I think Dolly's gotten them where he wants them. And it's telling as three go time. Crocs. 10, 11, 71. To the old dogs, 14, 7, 91. As we look at the stats, and one of your key indications, folks, is their hit outs. 42 to 20. Yeah, they've just been getting beat pillar to post on the head outs and it, that's not even going into the other stats but looking at some of the other ones uncontested disposals uh, crocs seem to be doing well but when it's contested it seems to be getting the edge to the old dogs and then we look at the kicks and then the handballs and i think we're starting to kind of see where things are going a lot of clangers however so a bit of a my eye was drawn to the marks well, looking I mean, at, looking good at, lord. Yeah, well, looking at the marks, and the old dogs seem to be controlling it. And you could and pretty much say... part of that is because of Jackson Keller. Yeah, you could say it's because of Keller. He's been really honest. And looking onto the individual stats and major bowl winners, Luko's gone cold this half, but he's still leading it with 11. And you look at the leading goal kickers, it's Griswold with five, Gordon with three, and Jack Knight with two. And then you look at DeMarco with two, Benton with one, Saxon with one. And you look at the major winners with Rose, Rundle, and Langley on the Crocs. They need someone to lift and be their major goal kicker because they're getting outclassed by Griswold and Gordon and even Knight. And who thought Knight would be be leading the goal in the leading goal kickers? Yeah, and who thought the Crocs' leading goal kicker would be Lizef DeMarco? <laughs> exactly. Like, who thought Lizef DeMarco would be leading the, the goal kickers, and who thought Jack Knight would be in the leading goal kickers for the old dogs? But we've got a half to go. Perhaps maybe some super goals could be necessary here for the Crocs, but time will tell. Can someone break out the big ball? We'll have to see as um, we get... At this point, it's like, go hard or don't go at all. Exactly, as we get underway with the final quarter. All to play for here, as we get the bounce underway. And here we go, number 11 here, that's Selby. Selby hands it off to Luko, Luko chance for another goal and he's got it. And the old dogs have got the right start that they want. Yeah, they are just not stopping. They are not stopping Aiden and jeez, I think I think the Crocs are going a bit cold or a bit a bit quiet, I think. Like like your mic's got doing a little bit at the moment. Yeah, like wait, what the <laughs> here? Yeah, they go I think the Crocs have gone a bit cold like you co I don't know. I'm, I'm a bit I too excited. You. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? No, I got you, mate, I got you. <laughs> and the Crocs need to get a Need to get a bit of heat back in this, otherwise this is not going to go well. And why is DeMarco in the rock? I don't know, but they seem to be going with DeMarco at this point. I mean, he's been going to their hot hands, so they're just like, eh, at this point, try it. 
That's my theory, at least. Yep. Well, the Marco trying to go for it. A bit of a handball out to Campbell, but Campbell can't really get anything Fire from it. So another ball up with. Is the Marco still in that? Wow. I think the old man uh, Hawkins might be hurt. I think he's probably the, one of the oldest you, players right? out there, and I think if he's pulling up sore, I think there's your reason. Oh, oh almost, oh, almost something there. Man, is getting rough there. Campbell with the mark, however, can Campbell Ooh. get something going? She's got to. He almost has to at this point. Surely she can bring a bit of magic in there. Surely. Oh, she misses. Well. And Crocs are in trouble. Uh oh. Just... Just, I can't believe what is going on at the moment. As Daniels gets it. Uh, can the Maybe game developer make something. something here? At this point, try it. Oh, yeah. Yes, John. Yes, John. God, someone send the big wolf out there. Someone get, someone get bright there. Someone get shadow wolf out there. Get somebody out there. Someone get going with some new boots. Just somebody get something going for the Crocs here. Get very angry. Just get her angry. I'll do it, mate. Well, I think she'd be a bit upset at the moment as Griswold. Chance for a mark here. Gets out muscled by Rose, but jeez, this is not looking good as Vanderbeck. Has it, I don't uh -oh. he think has he kicked a goal? I don't particularly remember, but he finds boss and could uh, this, this be good night for the Crocs, Aiden? Aid. This is gonna get ugly. <laughs> and the 2016 Jeff Rose medalist perhaps seals it there. That's another one. The floodgates have opened. This is this is gonna get ugly real right quick. <laughs> it is perhaps going to. We've still got 15 minutes in this game. I think the old dogs are ready to howl their way to a big victory. And I think this is gonna be just one of those games here. It's, Get it back on the way. Finally, Hawkins back out there. Smith gives it away. Payne to Thank Boss. You. Chance for another one. He's on the run. Oh boy. Hands of the Griswold. Chance for another six for him. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, this is getting ugly. It is really starting to get ugly. Oh, they, oh, There's another one. <laughs> And Kent Griswold says good night for the Crocs with number six. Just, uh, I think if you look at them and you look at the old dogs and you look at the Crocs, he's been the main difference. Kent Griswold, he has been the game changer. I can agree that. Uh... And it is. 10 goals, 13 to 17, 7 at the moment. Can the Crocs get a little bit back into this game as Langley finds Saxton? Saxton, chance for a goal here. Finds Bryant. Come on, Bryant. Come on, Zimmer. Take that goal. I know you got this in you. It came off pretty fuming, so. Ah, oh, come on. It's another oh, mess for them. It's a. It's like she brought her rookie form. That's what it is. Yep. Inaccuracy not helping the Crocs here. It's Brown gets it out. Finds oh, LeDuc, however. Alright. Bryant again. She has She's to get you, something though. going here. We go Peng caught oh, to, but Vanderbeck there. Vanderbeck. Oh. Oh, oh no no no. Now yeah, Shadow Wolf trying to go up for the mark, but it's got beat out there. Yep. 
Musset kicks it long. Gordon there. And this, I think the old dogs have just gotten the stamina. And they're just going with the momentum. As Gordon misses. It's, it's 74 to 110. And while well, they might look to be on the way to winning this, that is not what they probably would have wanted. Right, I mean... Just because you're winning, that's not a reason to slack off. Heavily agreed there. And go down to the boundary, oh, yeah. the Duke brings it over. I mean, she ain't been the best player, but clearly she's having fun. <laughs> well, certainly you'd want to be having fun out of it. As. Crocs getting quite pinned down into this section of the field. It's really telling that that perhaps we're seeing why the old dogs are winning the way they are. Oh my goodness, the Duke! <laughs> the Duke trying to go into Ooh. it. Trask on to take yeah. over. You actually got a bit of it. I think you got in there too. <laughs> Samuel Mercer get. Well, actually, no, that wasn't Merce, that was... Sorry, I got him confused with Wes Carey. God, this is a bit confusing, but McDonald Rainbow caught holding the ball. Ooh. And he's not exactly had a great game, to be honest. No, he hasn't. I mean... I mean, he got Rashonway's... He got Rashonway's FBA teammate who's never played the game. Like, what's yeah. going on? I mean, you look at Van Zandt and, like, he's had the specky. I think he's had a goal. Meanwhile, yeah, you look at McDonald Rainbow, he's not done much. Saxton bombs it out. Goodwin trying to find someone, but can't. And for number seven, he's got it! Griswold again! That one hurt. That one, that one has to hurt. That one is gonna hurt for the Crocs, but it is... Seventh heaven for Kent Griswold. Just showing the world that he has still got it. It's been six years since he's played, but he's still got every bit of that skill. He sure does. He sure does. And it is 10 14, 10 18 8. Hawkins Jr. gives away. Hawkins Senior, sorry, gives away the free. Hawkins he's getting Jr. Tired, so he's getting a little sloppy. Isn't here. But yeah, you were right. This is getting a bit sloppy from the Crocs, and they've got ten minutes to go. If they can get a hot streak, they might get something going here. But at the moment, it's just not looking like it. Well, Mercer, Mercer, trying to get into someone, finds Demarco. Who's been like the that, leading that, goal that, kicker tonight for the that, Crocs? That's a good one to kick. She's a good one to kick too. Very much so. Can she get it? It's a uh, bit to the right, but they'll find Hivers. Who will have to kick from a tight okay. angle. Okay. Uh, he's gonna get something here, but... Let's see what he does and oh, not a good kick. Uh, uh, Gets another bar. I mean, with everything he's been through, I mean it's a miracle he's even like on the field, so. I would agree. Yeah. I would agree with I still that. applaud him. Van Zant kicks it up in the air to a pack. Ooh. And Gomez finds Daniels. Will three be the charm for you? Let's find out. Let's find out indeed. Yes, it will be. Yeah. As All she right. gets it. Yeah. That will Any bring them that. up to 81 points. And oh. Hello. David gave Kel a bit of business. Uh, that is a lot of business. Eleven fifteen to eighteen eight. This there's still a whiff of hope here if they get a very good run of play here, but they'll need their best best out there. Well they need the best to play the best. That's the thing. Exactly, and it kind of looks like a bit like when they picked the teams, they might not picked the best they had, but you never know as Luko gets it, gets it quickly to boss. And right, I mean, 
looking at Goodman is like, it's basically just the Butcher Birds yearbook, which, in theory, ain't bad, but time hasn't been the kindest. Exactly as Boss misses and kind of reminiscent of his days at Perth during his final year last year and just probably times he'd want to forget. Right, I mean, as, who wouldn't want to? Yeah, probably time, times he'd like to forget at Perth as much as he'd like to forget that behind. But here comes for number eight. Oh, stuck to the line. God, no one can stop Griswold. And that'll be a touch behind, and uh, very much to be expected there. Yeah, I mean, not exactly a lot you can get out of that. Not really. There's, there's a bit of a kick there, and Rundle's got it. Tries to find Campbell. Campbell can't hold onto it. As Geish gets onto it, and Vanderbeck will yeah. take it, and. Oh, oh, he's gonna try and put this one away. He's, I think he's going for the serpent. No, he's oh, gonna try and find Griswold. No. <laughs> I thought for a minute there he's gonna go for the long torpedo, but God, oh, oh, he should have gone for it. He should have gone for it. He should have. As Griswold goes for number eight and misses. Yeah. I think the old dogs just want to give this guy guy a chance to kick ten. I think. <laughs> Yeah, something tells me so. I think we know that this game might, is probably in the bag. Let's just let him have a day out. As Smith gets caught throwing the ball, and mm. to go from one oh, player yeah. who's had a good night to a guy who has had, not had a good night, Kenji Smith. Yeah, it seems like he just has good marks, but he just he falls it up with something bad. Lawson from the boundary. Oh, and oh, that's oh. an all behind. Yeah. Can't really blame for that one. Tight angle from a, quite a distance. Yeah. 39 point margin at the moment with about five and a bit minutes to go here. And Dwayne Payne. Oh, he's going to go for it himself. Oh boy. Yeah. And no. Uh, it's going to be a rush behind by Smith. Ooh. And it's out to 40. And good one, Van Zant from the tight angle. Van Zant misses and. Oh dear. At that angle, I don't expect it. Non pro to make. I yeah, think kind of both shot. teams are perhaps fatigued out a bit, and I think we're in for maybe a rough five minutes. Right. That or maybe Van Zandt's hair got in the way. Maybe, as Van der Beek, will he attempt, finally, he'll attempt a goal again. Uh, maybe if he went for the super goal, maybe this wouldn't be an issue, as he goes for it, and the former Gold Coast captain gets it. And the scoreboard keeps ticking over. Yep. This game well and surely done. That it is. That it is. Not to say there haven't been some highlights, it's just... Man, this just got so lopsided at the end, right? Yeah, but that's funny sometimes. It's just sometimes you have the greatest game of, of all time in your first three quarters, and then in the final quarter, just... And then it's all bottom gone. just falls out. Yep. But it has been a great effort by the old dogs here. Can... Oh, Carey! Carey going for the Super Bowl! He's got it! Ooh. Okay, okay. The one okay. man you wouldn't think would kick a Super Bowl kicks it. I mean, hey, at this point, why not? <laughs> Where's Carey with the Super Bowl? Okay, and it's okay. back to 38. <laughs> I mean, it's, a, it's quite a bit late for that, but we got to see one. <laughs> we got to see one. Coyote's given a lot of local footy clubs quite a lot of new equipment now. And Wes Carey can say, shove it up yourself, I kicked a super goal. <laughs> 
just wow. I don't think anyone can make fun of him now. He's he's kicked the yeah, super goal. I, I think I owe him a I think I owe him a coffee after that one. I think we all do. <laughs> Long kick, Smith with it. Oh, Mark, he gets something good, finally. About three minutes, 15 to go here. 38 point margin to the old dogs. They're gonna be taking home a good win in the first ever Legends game. Just been a great showing overall by them. I think we might see it. where the Crocs need to learn next year. If it is indeed the Crocs who come back, we might see another team. Who knows? I don't know what the format's no. going to be, but I think from what we've seen this year and from the crowd's reaction, I think we're going to be seeing this for quite a time to come as Gomez chance for his first goal. Bloody hell, he does it. <laughs> Alright, I mean, like the fire is very late, but you know what? You're giving us a good end to this, so... Giving us a go good end, Gomez up. finally gets a goal, and just... It's gonna go to the old dogs, but I think we've found a winner here. I think we might be seeing the Legends game from here on out join us with the All-Star game. I'm just, I think that's very yeah. special, as our special guy, Wiz Carey, the super goal kicker, is on the bench. Like... You did that. Yeah, I did that, mate. <laughs> yeah, and a bit more of a kick here. Mercer. I mean, they've, we've been looking out a lot to All-Star Week here. We've got the Legends game now. I've heard rumors of a Team USA, with a Team uh, Australia versus Team World. I've heard that floating around. I've heard that as well. There's certainly, certainly something here that looks like that we're... Oh, Van Zandt got tackled by Smith. Hi. Uh -huh. Certainly got a lot to look forward to this week. It originally started with just one game here after the after State of Origin was brought to an end as Smith gets held up again, but uh, I think we're starting to see this start to become quite the event, and I tell you, I'm looking forward to whatever the future brings here as we just oh, run yes. down the clock. <laughs> Even now they're just chatting it out. <laughs> I think that's all you can really do. As time keeps ticking down. As Keller gets it off. It's about less than 30 seconds to go. Can Williamson mark it? No. The big book gets it. Gomez gets tackled. There's nothing left there now but to celebrate for the old dogs. As yep. there is 10 <laughs> seconds left. They're gonna kick it. It's gonna be Leduc with a chance off to the siren, but it's not gonna change anything. The I mean, old dogs I win the first ever Legends game, and Aiden, this has been a great effort from them. I know this is this has been an incredible thing to witness. <laughs> and it's not gonna make it. Final scores will see the old dogs win, and they are a pretty happy group out there. Got reason to be. Dwayne Payne happy. Fans happy with this display. It's just and a quite showing of good sportsmanship. Good to see there's still some cordiality. I'm saying that right. <laughs> yeah, you're saying that right. As our final scores are 1 12 15 96 to 0 19 14 128. Aiden, this is just... I've enjoyed doing this with you, but before we go, we're going to have a look at the stats and have a look who is the player of the match. Of course. I mean, we, I think we know at this point, but... I think we know out. who it is going to be. Oh! Okay! <laughs> Covalucco, um, player right. of the game! All right, mate. <laughs> Not what I was expecting, but okay. I was not expecting that. I would have thought Grizzle would have gone with these goals, but I, the selectors must have thought that, that Ludico was the best. So I suppose what we've got is, I think we've got a case of best celebrity and best former player. And I think Griswold will win best former player and Ludico will win best celebrity.
That's what I've been told. So there's your graphic that Carver Ludko takes home Best Celebrity. And Kent Griswold, of course, will take home Best Former Player. So yeah, Sounds about right to me, mate. So let's so look here at the final stats. Just a very tight game, but where it was won or lost was in the tackles and the hitouts as the old dogs just did what they needed to do. And if you look at the marks as well, that would count too. But I think if you look at it, there's where they've won the game. Just the hitouts, the tackles, and the marks. That's what's gotten them this win today. Yeah, that hitout disparity is just disgusting. <laughs> Very much so, I would agree, my partner. And looking at it, Griswold with seven, Gordon with three, Ludko with two, DeMarco with two, Benton and Saxon with one, Rose winning the whole 15 times, Ludko getting it 14 times. And if we look at just that margin graphic, just for most, for a lot of this game, the old dogs seem to have quite a bit of control, but. The Crocs put in a good effort until about, I would say, near the end of the third, and then it's just been the old dog's game since then, so... I'd agree there. I'd agree there, mate. I mean, they, the Crocs had a couple moments where they were scare old dogs, but just never were able to quite establish themselves. I would heavily agree with that. And the final scores are Crocs 1-12-15-96. To 19, to 1914, 128. Aiden, it's been great to have you here. It's been great to be back for this one off occasion. Do, do you want to do it again next year? Totally, mate. Totally. Well, join you again. It, it's been Aiden Edison. Join me with Aiden Edison. I'm. I'm. Brock McEwen. And that's signing off here for Seagull Sports. Old Dogs win the first ever Legends game. 128 to 96.